All right, in this section here, we're going to be talking about radicals. So we're going to say we have the radical of 100, also known as, you know, the square root of 100 here. Um, we're looking for two numbers, and we multiply together, we get 100, and that would be 10. Now, there's assumed to be a 2 here, but we don't write it. We don't write the 2. We leave it blank. Okay? But even though I'm just letting you know. And of course, if I had to get this in exponent, this is in radical form. To write this in exponential form, alright, that's exponential form. So that's what we did in the previous section. If I had, okay, let's say in this particular one here, Let's clear that out. This is 3 roots of 27. Now this can be rewritten as 27 raised to the 1 3rd power. All right, And so a number multiplied by itself 3 times it gives us 27 and that's probably going to be 3. 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. All right. So 3 roots of 27, that's another way of saying this, is equal to 3. What if I had the square root of 9 times the square root of 4? If I wanted to put this under one single radical, this would be 9 times 4, or let me just write it like this, which is 36, but that all simplifies down to the square root of 36 is 6. Right. Okay. So we're going back and forth between radical uh, exponential notation and all of a sudden, I've lost my train of thought on that. Um, I said it just a minute ago. Okay, so this is an exponential notation here. Now, if I wanted to get this into radical notation, we would say, okay, this is three roots of 7 and this piece here is squared. Now you can bring the 2 outer in and I'm leaving it inside which can be rewritten as 3 roots and then this would be 49. Okay. We are converting the following expression to radicals. What about 8 raised to the four ninths. So this ends up being nine and then eight to the fourth, whatever that is. But this whole thing right here actually reduces down to two and three roots of two. Two times three roots of two you wanted to uh, simplify this all the way down. I'll let you figure out how to do that at this point. Okay, so we're going to get this. Go from exponential form to radical form. So this becomes four roots of, and then the inside, this is four x, y, and it's all raised to the third power. Of course, you could rewrite this as four roots of four cubed is 64. Yeah, x, y. And I'll just leave it like